Hey guys, what's up? Here is Max. We know that currently Goku's main master in Dragon Ball Super is Whis, the Angel of Universe 7. We also know that Whis is teaching Goku the Angel's way of fighting, including their main ability that we know, Ultra Instinct. Therefore, Goku is constantly evolving as he learns the Angel's battle secrets. We also know that one of Goku's main goals is always to face warriors who are more powerful than he is, and he always wants to challenge his own limits. And in Dragon Ball Super, a great wall that Goku found was Beerus, who is still an icon of power in the franchise and in his universe. But what will happen when Goku completes his training with Whis and acquires the maximum level of power that Whis can help him reach? When Goku learns everything he can learn from Whis, what would a battle between him and Beerus look like? In this video, I'm going to tell you about it, so stay connected to the channel and let's go to the video. Okay. Goku and Whis were training in a parallel dimension the angel took them to. In that dimension, a combat took place, but this combat was a little different from the ones that used to happen between them. It was a much more serious combat. Goku was using his own version of Ultra Instinct which he learned while fighting Gas, but there was something different about him in this fight. Goku was releasing an unnatural amount of power, and as a result with each of his blows, the whole world shook. Usually, Whis faced Goku with so much calm that it even seemed like it was indifferent. But this time it was different. Whis kept his calm personality as always, but this time the angel was much more serious and attentive. Watching his disciples every move, Goku was also very serious. He felt that there was something different in that fight. As if he felt that he was very close to achieving something that he didn't know what it was. Goku puts even more intensity into his movements, delivering blows with more frequency, speed, power and precision. Goku feels his body vibrate and burn from the inside. He noticed that Whis was getting a little more serious too, and now he seemed to have to work a little harder to dodge his punches. At one point, Whis disappeared from in front of Goku to dodge an attack and reappeared behind him to attempt a blow that would knock out the Saiyan. But Goku instinctively ducks to dodge, leaving Whis surprised. And after crouching to dodge, Goku turns around raising his body to apply a blow to Whis. The angel needs to dodge that blow. However, Goku's attack passes so close that it rips a hair from Whis, who's even more surprised. Whis walks away and Goku begins to emanate an absurd amount of energy, which begins to destroy the entire surrounding environment. As he observes this amount of energy, Whis is very surprised, and at the same time happy that Goku finally made it. From the middle of this energy, Goku's shadow can be seen, and when this energy dissipates, it is possible to see Goku's figure flying at high speed towards Whis, preparing a powerful punch. Whis takes it seriously, getting into a fighting stance. On Beerus' planet, Vegeta is training his Hakai with Brawly. Brawly is in the sky manipulating several tree trunks with his telekinetic strength. He uses his telekinetic strength to launch those logs towards Vegeta, who from the ground destroys the logs with his Hakai. Chilai, Lemo, and Beerus watch from afar. Chilai is sitting, bored. Beerus is lying in a chair, and Lemo is next to Beerus, serving him a bunch of grapes, like a true servant. Chilai asks what the point of this training is. She finds it very boring to watch, and also, it makes a lot of noise. Beerus explains that telekinesis is a simple skill, but it requires concentration and mind control, so it's a good type of training for Brawly. On the other hand, Vegeta is practicing his Hakai. Suddenly, they are all startled with a gigantic explosion occurring in another region of the planet. Before I tell you the reason for this explosion, I wanted to tell you that if you want to support the channel financially and get some benefits from it, you can collaborate with us through Patreon. The resources we earn on this Patreon will be used for the continuation of the production of the Dragon Ball Hakai manga, which as I've explained in the most recent videos had to be paralyzed due to lack of resources. So if you want to see the continuation of the Dragon Ball Hakai manga and have some benefits of the channel, collaborate with us if you can. The link will be in the video description, so check it out later to see if it interests you. Continuing with the story. The reason for that explosion was that the dimension Goku and Whis trained in was destroyed, and so Whis at the last moment opened a portal to take them back to the Beerus planet. But a part of that explosion ended coming along. Whis was protecting himself and Goku in an energy shield, so they land safety on the planet's ground. Goku is in his base form and badly injured, and this time even Whis had a few scratches and dirt on his clothes. In just a second, Whis magically heals Goku and restores his clothes. After that, they start talking about what happened, and Goku tells Whis everything he felt and asks if he can explain what it is. 
Whis begins to explain, telling Goku that the form he reached right now is simply the ultimate Ultra Instinct, the final stage of Ultra Instinct that only Daishinkan had achieved. Goku is completely shocked hearing this and asks what this ultimate Ultra Instinct is and how he reached such a level. Whis starts to remind Goku about the concepts of Ultra Instinct. First, he talks about the first concepts, which were to keep the mind calm and empty, letting only the body act on instinct. These are the concepts of the Ultra Instinct that he and the other angels use. Afterwards, Whis talks about the concepts of Goku's true Ultra Instinct, which is the form of the Ultra Instinct technique that he himself developed by accepting his own nature. And then Whis finally explains that the ultimate Ultra Instinct that Goku achieved was the merging of these two concepts. Goku has mastered the common Ultra Instinct of angels, which is to let his body obey its most natural instincts. On the other hand, Goku also mastered his own Ultra Instinct, which he developed by accepting his own nature and personality. Understanding and mastering these two forms of instinct led him to the ultimate Ultra Instinct, which is the purest form of the instinct. Goku asks why the angels couldn't achieve this instinct, as he said that only Daishinkan has this technique. Whis explains that angels live a life of completely rigid rules that dictate how they should act. In this way, an angel like him cannot live the way he wants to but the way he should live, and this makes it difficult for him to understand himself. The ultra instinct that angels dominate is the result of their neutral lifestyle, which makes them disconnected from feelings. On the other hand, the fact of living a life with such strict rules and having to always behave according to those rules makes it very difficult for angels like him to know their own nature and develop their own ultra instinct style like Goku. In other words, for Whis to reach the form that Goku has, he would need greater knowledge about himself and this true nature, but he cannot do that living the way he does. Daishinkan was the only angel who achieved the supreme form of instinct, and his life predates the creation of all these laws, so he had a lot of time to discover more of himself and achieve his own form of ultra instinct. Understanding that explanation, Goku is a little sad for Whis, because now he realizes how much Whis and the other angels abdicate of themselves to live in the neutral way. But at that moment, Goku realizes something, and so he tells Whis that he has a form of ultra instinct that is superior to that of angels. Does that mean he is more powerful than the angels? Angels? Whis laughs at that question and says no. Even though Goku's Ultra Instinct is more advanced than the Angels right now, the Angels still have a much higher base power than him, which means that Goku would still be defeated by him and the other Angels. And even though he has a technique that only the Daishinkan possesses, that doesn't mean that Goku is on the same level as the Grand Priest. This makes Goku a little disappointed, but at the same time he is excited to know that he still has a lot to learn and improve. Whis says that now he doesn't have much more to teach Goku, and Goku will need to learn more about his new power and evolve. Their conversation is interrupted when Beerus, Vegeta, and Brawly join them. They are curious about what happened. Goku and Whis explain the whole situation and knowing what happened causes different reactions in them. Brawly is very curious about Goku's new power. Vegeta is very angry when he learns that Kakarot was once again distancing himself from him in power. And Beerus gets very serious and tense. Beerus tells Goku not to brag about his power, as he still isn't able to defeat him. But Goku disagrees and says that he is now capable of defeating Beerus. And he even wants his rematch against the Destroyer. Goku begins to concentrate his power, then releases a huge amount of energy while showing off his new transformation, leaving Beerus, Brawly, and Vegeta impressed. With a very serious look, Goku asks Beerus to face him right now. So guys, how is this battle going to be between Goku and his new angelic transformation and Beerus? If this video gets a relevant amount of likes, comments, views, and new subscribers, I will bring you part 2, okay? And then we'll know what this fight would be like. Until next time, goodbye.